Girls, I have made the ultimate back and shoulder workout for you. Whether you want a nice, beautiful snatched back or some nice, beautiful, broad shoulder to strut your way in the gym, this can be the workout for you. I'm talking six exercises, four sets, 12 reps, all under one hour. It's quick, it's efficient, it's gonna get you to your fitness goals like this. Comment down below what other workouts that you want to see from me and I will deliver for you. And here we have the workout starting with wide grip pull-ups everyone's favorite and you already got the paper towels up in there because we are not trying to fall today and no ma'am but here i'm trying to go till failure which is only two reps so we are working on it and here we're gonna take a short one minute break and go straight into doing some chin-ups with the freaking paper towels again but what can you do so chin-ups primarily target the biceps and the lats while wide grip pull-ups put more emphasis on your back and the outer part of your lats come on you got one more rep in you come on there you go you are getting the foam pad to use it for assisted pull-ups. Look at the absolute joy on my face getting ready to do these pull-ups. The foam pad just helps elevate the short girls to get a better range of motion in our back when we are pulling ourselves up. And notice when I'm coming up, I'm slightly turning my shoulders in like that. This is going to help with better engaging your back on your way up. And this is the same technique that we're going to use later on as well. Narrow grip T-bar rows. Keep your feet shoulder width apart with your toes pointing out and get a nice good old grip there with your feet. Bring your type into the top of the bar and lift. Typically, you'd want to keep a neutral spine so you don't quote unquote hurt your lower back. In this case, by rounding it, you're actually getting more range of motion by fully extending your back on the way up and down. Of course, it should be moderate and controlled, but be smart about it. If you feel your lower back, then go back to a neutral position as demonstrated right here. Now for some dumbbell shoulder press, keeping your chest out, core engaged, and shoulders back. Push all the way up and come down to where your arms are at 90 degrees. I do like to use a leg drive to try and help get the weight up when I am going heavier. However, that should not be a substitute when you simply can't get the weight up and you're using just your legs to get it up. And if you don't have some ugly freaking lifting faces just like these, then you are doing it wrong and you gotta go heavier, girl. I don't make the rules. Now for dumbbell lateral raises, here we are getting right in the zone, but try to ensure your back is straight, your chest is out, and of course core is engaged. That is one mistake that I did in this video. I was going too heavy on the weight, and even though I did feel it in my shoulders, you can see my form starting to slip. Few sweaty hands, but we have a wide grip lat pull down. So prior to starting the movement, ensure that you engage your lats and bring your shoulder blades together. This will ensure that you feel the exercise more in your lats to ensure optimal muscle engagement. It's the same idea as with the pull-up, same engagement. Lastly is rear delt flies. So I'm personally keeping my back slightly hunched over the seat to ensure that I'm getting more of a stretch in my rear delts. Versus you're going to see in a couple of seconds, keeping my back straight and my chest against the support. Of course, perform this how you see fit though. And if you do start to feel your triceps in the hunched over position, just switch to the regular chest against the pad. But of course, do it how you see fit. Huge thank you to all of my 63 subscribers and everybody watching this. I am beyond thankful. I have posted down all of my socials where I give a motivation, workout tips, fitness tips, everything you can think of. It's all going to be down below for you as well as my one-on-one -on -one personalized coaching as well to work with me. Don't forget to comment down below what other workouts that you want to see and I can't wait to see you all in the next video.